From best friends to Blackpool Combat Club, Wheeler Yuta has always been respected for his in-ring ability, but now it feels like he's in the right stable too, getting the push that he deserves. But, what else do we know about Yuta? Let's take a look. Number 10. Praised by Mark Henry. Mark is a respected veteran who currently works backstage for All Elite Wrestling and it's always a good thing to impress people like him. Henry was very impressed by Wheeler's match against John Moxley, so much that he stated the following. Tremendous storytelling. I watched the match with my son. I saw the match and I was really impressed with Yuta's energy, his desire to be great. All my son saw was one exciting moment after another and was really impressed. It was an unbelievable match. This match did not only put him on the map, but it established him as a guy that has a level of toughness and resolve. Mark has an experienced eye, and he knows when he sees something special. Anyway, let's move on to. Number 9. He aims high. You need ambition and determination in this business in order to succeed, and Wheeler has both. He has stated that he wants to win the TNT title, and eventually the big one, the All Elite Wrestling World Championship. For now he's focused on raising the prestige of the Ring of Honor Pure title, and continuing to impress his colleagues with his amazing matches. Another goal of his is to keep having matches in Japan, the home country of his mom. So far so good, as he recently competed in the Best of Super Juniors tournament and he did pretty good. He finished with 10 points, only 2 points behind the first spot of his block. Number 8. The Best Friends Chapter. We mentioned how great it is that Wheeler is a Blackpool Combat Club member now, being next to two of the biggest stars in all elite wrestling, John Moxley and Brian Danielson, and one of the greatest minds in the business, William Regal. But none of this would have been possible without the best friends. Speaking about them, he stated the following. Those guys obviously have been very instrumental, especially Chuck and Orange, have been very instrumental helping me, training me, and bringing me up in wrestling. He continued by saying. I think that once we did the stuff on Dark, I think Tony Khan kind of saw that it would be a natural fit for me to come in and be there with my real life friends. I didn't know what was going to happen. They hugged me at the end and just kind of took off from there. Number 7. The people who trained him. Everyone needs a good trainer in order to make it to this business, and it seems like Wheeler was trained by a great technical wrestler, former WWE Cruiserweight Champion Drew Gulak. Yuta was heavily influenced by Drew's wrestling style. But it wasn't only Drew that helped Wheeler find his way. AC Collins, Chuck Taylor, Mike Quackenbush, Orange Cassidy, Tracy Williams and world-famous CB, also played a role in his development, training with him in his early days. You think that this list of names was big? Wait until you hear the next list. Number 6. His other ring names. Wheeler Yuta hasn't always used this ring name. Here are the names that he has used in the past. Alex Kai, Hackman, not to be confused with Hangman, Kabuki Ni, Jimmy Yuta, Silverhawk, Wildcott, and also Yuta, without a first name. Alright, this was a big list of names, but what about his real one? Number 5. Real name, Hyden Moore. There's been a little controversy about this one. Many sites state that Wheeler Yuta's real name is James Yuta while his Wikipedia page says that it's Paul Gruber. I think that someone's messing with his wiki page, as most sites agree on James Yuta being his real name. He is 25 years old. Again, crazy how much he has learned and accomplished in such a young age. He's billed as 6 feet tall and 189 pounds, or 183 centimeters and 86 kilos for my European brothers. I think Yuta's height and weight are close to ideal for today's wrestling scene. He's not too big so that he can't perform the flips, but he's also not too small, because let's face it, even in today's wrestling world you need to have decent size, in order to become a world champion in most cases. So yeah, he's the perfect hybrid. He debuted in 2014, so despite his young age he has already been in the business for 8 years. It seems like Wheeler knew what he wanted to do from a young age. Yuta is the son of a Japanese-born mother and American-born father and he graduated from Villanova University. Number 4. His Wrestling Past Very few people begun their career by debuting for All Elite Wrestling or WWE straight away. Most of them had to struggle and build themselves up in the indie scene, and the same goes for Yuta. He made his Combat Zone Wrestling debut in late 2015, and consistently appeared for CZW until late 2016. He made his debut for Major League Wrestling in a losing effort to MJF, 
on the MLW One Shot event in late 2017. His last match for the promotion would be in 2019 versus Low Key. Later, Yuta made his Ring of Honor debut against Jonathan Gresham, in the first round of the Pure Championship Tournament. After Tony Khan purchased Ring of Honor, it was announced that Yuta would face Josh Woods, at the revived Supercard of Honor for the Pure Championship. Yuta would defeat Woods and win the title at the event. On the May 24, 2022 episode of All Elite Wrestling's Dark Show, which aired almost two months after their bout at Supercard of Honor, Yuta would successfully defend the Ring of Honor Pure Championship against Woods in a rematch. We already mentioned his New Japan appearances, but Yuta's accomplishments don't stop there. Number 3. His Other Achievements Wheeler Yuta has also won the Chikara Young Lions Cup, the Men's Commonwealth Cup for Nova Pro Wrestling, and has also been ranked 96th in the Pro Wrestling Illustrated list for 2021. I know that people don't take the PWI rankings very seriously, but it's still a big accomplishment for someone at Wheeler's age. The present is bright and his future is even brighter. But what's interesting is how he got into indie wrestling in the first place. Number 2. Growing up with wrestling. Yuta was a pro wrestling fan from a young age. He stated the following. When I was a little kid, my cousin showed me this wrestling video game. I played that video game with him all the time. Then at one point, they told me that real people did this. I didn't know that human beings could do this. Then I remember they showed me. They turned on the TV, and there it was. I was like, wow, that's what I want to do. This is actually exactly how I found out about wrestling too. I played Here Comes the Pain on PlayStation 2, and then someone told me that it's a real life show. I was blown away. Anyway, Yuta grew up watching only WWE, until he bumped into Colt Cabana's Art of Wrestling podcast where he learned about indie wrestling, and he fell in love with the whole business. Number 1. He was always a sports person. Even though pro wrestling is his biggest love, it wasn't his only one. He was always into sports from a young age. He was a swimmer when he was at elementary and high school. He was also playing baseball and has stated that he loved the team aspect of it. Last but not least, he was also an amateur wrestler but he admitted that his pursue was in hopes of becoming a professional wrestler one day. Seems like dreams do come true. I'm sure that most of you are aware that Yuta is a big being the elite star too, so let's watch some of his best moments. Hey, you don't, you don't get Wawa until you win. I've won a few no, times. When? When?